Ora sentiamo invece parlare Richard Bolli che ci ha mandato un video per raccontarci un evento che si terrà negli Stati Uniti a febbraio che si chiama Tech and State, Tech at State. Ecco. Mandiamo il video e poi ci rivediamo. Good afternoon and greetings from Washington DC. My name is Richard Bolli and I would like to tell you about one of Secretary Clinton's 21st century statecraft initiatives run by our office of e-diplomacy. Our Tech at State conference series brings together diplomats and technologists to explore creative and innovative ways that new technologies can empower diplomacy and development. Of special interest to you, the participants in the Big Data in a Living Web conference, the next Tech at State on February 3rd and 4th will focus on real-time awareness. A highlight of the conference will include David Weidenberger's launch of his new book, Too Big to Know. David is a fellow in e-diplomacy and at Harvard's Berkman Center. The State Department can sometimes be a little slow when it comes to technology. The private sector is generally more nimble, but it lacks the global reach of the State Department. So while tech needs state, state also needs tech. So essentially we thought, what if we formed a partnership? This was the impetus behind Tech at State, conferences that convene technologists and diplomats to explore collaboration. This is how it all started. In January 2010, a massive earthquake struck Haiti. To help, technologists, development workers, and the foreign affairs community partner to save lives. It started with text messaging. Technologists set up a system so that friends and relatives of the wounded could send help messages. Volunteers worked with the Haitian diaspora to translate. That information got transferred to first responders and lives were saved. Without this impromptu partnership, Many more victims would have perished. Months after the earthquake, we brought together this ad hoc team to review what had happened. That May 2010 Haitian tech event went over so well that we decided to institutionalize it as Tech at State. Since then, we have held many other events. Several hundred attend these conferences and thousands more watch online. In each case, we seek to combine the best of technology that of diplomacy and development so we can benefit all groups and improve international relations. This is 21st Century Statecraft. We bring together high-level speakers, engage in focused breakouts, and then we schedule an unconference to find creative solutions. Imagine using a cell phone to help root out counterfeit drugs, or free satellite images to remake a city's street map or a simple camera to reveal human rights abuses. These are the kinds of life-altering outcomes that spring from the marriage of technology and foreign affairs. As I mentioned earlier, the topic of the next Tech at State is real-time awareness. What is real-time awareness, you may ask? Well, here's a quick explanation to get you thinking. Currently, Twitter produces more than 95 million tweets per day Facebook has 640 million users, half long and daily. The exponential growth of these social media applications and others has resulted in a tremendous increase of real-time information from all corners of the globe being instantly available on the internet. Some information is trivial, but the information that is increasingly relevant is latest breaking news. Today, if you wait to hear it on CNN, it may be too late. At Tech at State, real-time awareness, we will be examining a range of challenges and solutions in this area, especially in the context of breaking news and crisis response. Which data feeds are the most reliable? What is the best way to filter the data? How should the data be analyzed? What can be done to verify and validate the data? Strategies are now being developed and implemented that use the latest technologies to comb through social media feeds, filter out the unneeded and unimportant data, and analyze the remaining meaningful information in order to provide to decision makers continuous and relevant updates that are validated and verified. 
Hackett State Real-Time Awareness will be held at George Washington University here in DC on February 3rd and 4th. I hope to see you there, and you can visit hack.state.gov to learn more.